वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल अबरा इलेक्ट्रिकल वर्ल्ड दिस इज़ ए प्योरली फ्री एजुकेशन चैनल फॉर द इंजीनियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड द पीपल हु आर इन द फील्ड एज वेल एज इन द टीचिंग साइट सो दिस इज अबाउट द सिलिका जेल यूज ऑफ सिलिका जेल इन पॉवर ट्रांसफार्मर एवरी वन ऑफ अस नोज दिस एंड वी स्टडी दिस बट वी हैव usually come across the silica gel which is of dark blue color and it is filled in in the jar which is connected with the conservator and one side is air is is passage of air is allowed in that what happens when there is a oil in the tank it is filled in and the conservator is filled up to half only then what happens when their temperature rises the oil expands and it goes into the conservator and ultimately when the transformer is cool or in winter the oil reenters from conservator to the main tank so in this all these cases it means that all the time when this expansion and contraction of oil is going on the air goes inside and outside of the transformer conservator that is into the oil and we know that the atmospheric air always has some content of the moisture in that so silica gel is used to absorb the property of silica gel is to absorb the moisture content and dry the air and it goes into the tank when the color changes from blue to pink then we immediately know that the silica gel has been saturated and it has absorbed the moisture from the air in a sufficient quantity and it must be replaced and it can also be regenerated that you heat up in kind of a container and then it becomes again blue that is dried and it can be reused now this is the basic uh, uh, can uh, i mean the introduction of my this lecture on the silica gel but many people don't know and they have, they have not come across that silica gel is not always blue it can be orange as well so there are two kinds of uh, silica gel one is blue and other is the orange which is shown on the right hand side of the of my slide or the banner here now if you look at the silica gel what happens that uh, orange silica gel gets greener green not greener green ultimately dark green and when you look at the this silica gel here on the right hand side it can be like this as well or like this it may be it may look like a whitish also uh, close to whitish or between the orange and the white or the gray etc but this is known as the orange and this is known as the blue and this is the from blue to pink that it has absorbed the sufficient moisture it must be replaced so now we move further that what is the advantage disadvantage of these two kind of silica gel they are not exactly the same see i have shown here the this kind of a breather here so that you know where the breather is stall breather is always installed on the transformer connected to the conservator and it provides the path for the atmospheric air to go in and outside of the transformer oil so that it the space between the oil and the conservator is filled in with the air now what about the blue silica gel which we are talking about or we are using i i i have been also be using i have used both kind of silica gel so this blue silica gel actually has the cobalt dichloride i don't know the chemistry but i know this from my education that this is the known as the hemant toxin and it has been proven finally that this uh the fumes from the blue silica gel actually 
give rise to the cancerous diseases. So this is now prohibited in the European era. In the European world, the blue silica gel now you cannot use. So, but blue silica gel is still available in North America. So I mentioned here in the red. But blue blue silica gel, which we have been using for long time, is banned due to the confirmed confirmed research that blue silica gel fumes from the blue silica gel when you heat up again. For the regeneration, it gives fume can create or can develop the cancerous disease in human body. So this is now banned, and orange silica gel can now be used. So therefore, I thought that I must uh, prepare a video lecture on this one. I have uh, uploaded a small uh, interview kind of a question answer verbal verbally on the on my YouTube. But this is a detailed uh, lecture about the silica gel between the difference between blue and orange. The orange one is also known some as the yellow uh, silica gel, and this has the silicon dioxide, which is proven to be uh, not uh, harmful to the uh, human being. So, but these kind of silica gel should not uh, be. Uh, use with the food items, etc. So that is another restriction, but still it is not uh, it is not harmful for the human being. So this is the difference between the uh, silica gel yellow, clear yellow, or orange. And on the left hand side, the second half shows you the dark green. Looks like black, but dark green is known as the dark green. So this is the change in color so i hope this is very helpful for you because if some buddy asks you in the interview that uh, have you seen the orange or yellow kind of silica gel your answer must be yes that is uh, you can say that is the better one that is not injurious to uh, human uh, health and the blue one uh, creates the cancer in the human body so that is prohibited in the european world and the european companies don't use now the blue silica gel so silica gel blue silica gel is cheaper than the orange one the yellow one so still in pakistan you will see the same companies german companies uh, they will provide you with the blue silica gel uh, because they don't bother here about the regulations in the europe so in pakistan there are no regulations for anything i would say don't mind it but same companies which which are regulated by the german regulations abb siemens etc they don't bother here to use the other kind of silica gel so if you are a owner of the company or you are a consultant or you are a user then you must insist your manufacturer to provide with the orange silica gel initially and you should also replace all the blue silica gels with the yellow or the orange silica gel uh, for the safety of the human being and the staff etc thank you very much